Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we will have a look at preparing, then importing a 3D model in Anime Studio. For this tutorial, we will use Blender. Blender is a free 3D modeling and rendering tool. You can download it from www.blender.org. By default, Blender uses the right mouse button for selection, which I really don't like. So I will change this behavior by going to File, User Preferences, then I go in the Input tab, then select Left from the Select Width submenu. Next, I go to the Add-on tabs. I type OBJ in the search window. A list of available add-ons appear. I make sure that Import Export Wavefront Objects is selected. I click on Save User Settings, then I close the window. Next thing I do, I make sure that Blender Render is selected as the active render engine. This will give us real-time previews of the changes we will make to our model. Next thing I will do is insert a base mesh model. I do so by pressing Shift plus A on my keyboard. A menu appears. Then I go in the mesh submenu, then select monkey from the list. And now I have a model of a monkey Z in my main window. You can navigate the Blender interface with the middle mouse button. By holding the middle mouse button and dragging, you can orbit. By holding the shift key and dragging, you can pan. And by holding the control key and dragging, you can zoom in and out. You can also zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. You can turn off the gizmo if it bothers you by clicking this icon. Next, I will apply a basic color to the model. First, make sure the model is selected. Open the Material tab. Then click the New button. This will create a new material and apply it to the whole model. Bring the intensity to 1. Then click the Diffuse Color selector. Then choose a brownish color for the head. The changes appear in real time in the main window. Next, I will apply colors to the different parts of the model. I will do so by clicking the Tab key. Then go in Edit Mode. Blender opens Edit Mode in Vertex Selection Mode with all the vertices selected. You can use the A key to select or deselect everything. Press Ctrl and Tab to open the Mesh Select Mode window. Make sure that Vertex Selection Mode is active. Select the middle vertex of the left eye. Then press L on your keyboard. This selects all the connected vertices. Hold the Shift key. Then select the middle vertex of the right eye and press L again on your keyboard. The head is one mesh, but the eyes are disconnected from it. With all the vertices of both eyes selected, click on the plus icon in the Material tab, then click on New. This creates a new material. Click Assign. This assigns the new material to the selection. Bring the diffuse intensity all the way up, then click on the Color Selector. Bring the color gradient all the way up so you get a pure white. Next. Select both middle vertices in the middle of the eyes. Then use Ctrl and Plus to grow the selection. Do it twice to select both pupils. Then create a new material for them with a nice blue color. Then assign it to the selection. Next, we go into Edge Selection Mode by pressing Ctrl and Tab. Then we select a ring of edges as shown.
Then we grow the selection to select the old nodes as shown. Next, we apply a dark grid to the nodes. Then we go into phase selection mode. Then use the recast selection tool using the C key to select the inside of the mouth. Right click to turn off the recast tool. Then we go to selection. Then apply a dark red color to the selection, as shown. Next, we use Shift to select faces in both ears, then apply a pinkish color to them. You can use a color picker to select colors from anywhere in the interface. or you can copy-paste colors from another material. We are now done applying colors to the model. Next, I want to define custom edges that can be rendered as strokes in Anime Studio. This can be done by going into Edge Selection Mode, then by selecting the edges we want to define. When done, select the RIP tool, which can be found under Mesh, Vertices, RIP, or by using the V shortcut on your keyboard. Right click to end the operation. This actually detaches vertices, creating holes in the mesh, holes that can create open edge that Enemy Studio uses to generate strokes. Now we need to smooth the mesh. We will use a modifier to do it. Go in the modifier tab. Click on Add Modifier, then choose Subdivision Surface from the list. This will smooth our model. Insert 3 in both View and Render, then apply the modifier. Our mesh is now ready to be exported. Go under File, Export, and choose Wait From OBJ. 
then choose where you want to export the file. I will export it to my desktop. Make sure Materials is selected in the Options, give it a name, then click Export OBJ. We can now open Anime Studio. To import a 3D model in Anime Studio, go under File, OBJ 3D Model, navigate to where you saved the model, in this case on the desktop, select it, then click Open. The model is imported as a 3D layer. You can scale the layer as you would any other layers. Open the Layers setting, then go in the 3D Option tab, turn off everything. Let's have a look at the different shading options first. Smooth gives us a very smooth smooth gives us a very smooth shading as you would get in any 3D application. Tune gives us a three-tone shading, which is more cartoony. The third option is etched, which I never use, but it is there if you like it. Then we have three options for edges. The first is silhouette which draws a stroke around the general shape of the model, including our defined edges, which is very cool. You can adjust the stroke width using the styles window width attribute. Material draws a stroke around the different colors we have assigned to the mesh, which is also very cool. The third option is creases which draws strokes according to an angled threshold. The lower the threshold, the more lines are rendered. You can modify faces normal with polygon orientation options in case the model was imported with its normal inverted. Make sure that warp using bones is selected, then click OK. Next we will add bones to our mesh. Create a bone layer, then drag the 3D layer on top of it. Create three bones at the top of the head, each bone parented to the central bone. Then create two bones for the mouth, also parented to the central bone. Then adjust the bone strength.
Go to frame one, create some keyframes by nudging the bones. Then go to frame 24 and nudge the bones again. On frame 30, rotate the bones to the left. Then on frame 42, rotate the bones to the right. On frame 48, copy paste the keyframe from frame 24. Set the animation length to 60 frames, then run the animation by pressing the space bar. Next go to frame 1, then select the Rotate Layer XY tool. Click on Reset to set some keyframes. Do the same on frame 24. On frame 30, set X to 6 and Y to 12. This turns the head to the right. On frame 42, enters minus 12, which turns the head to the left. On frame 48, press Reset to revert to the default values. We now have a simple animation of our 3D model. Well, hope this was useful to you guys. I'll see you next time.